Hey everyone, it's Jamie here. Happy Friday! Sorry, I'm a little quiet. I got a really bad headache today. Ouch. Anyway, today you're going to need your blue paper, your toilet paper roll. You probably were all wondering what these were for. And your white cup of paint for the first activity. And then for the second one, you will need your gingerbread numbers. Okay? So our shape this week and next week has been a circle. Circle. And our color has been white. So the toilet paper roll makes a nice circle. And the paint is white. So I thought on this blue paper we could make white circles. You could make things, you could make a snowman, you could just make circles all the way around. And for some of the littler hands or the hands that struggle with closing, this might be a little hard to grasp. You could also pinch it, work on that pinching and putting it in. If you have a um, clothespin, you could put it on here and help dip. So there's different ways you can work on holding it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in you can see the round of it and then I'm gonna move my camera down and then push down and up you don't you can go all the way down in, but you really just need to go a little in there down and up look at the circles down and up and maybe you could at least make seven one two three because that's our number four Five, six, put it in and get more, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what you're doing with the toilet paper rolls. You probably were wondering in the paint is you're going to make some white circles. And your paper is nice and big. I didn't mind open mine all the way, so you can even make more than seven. Okay, you make as many as you want, but make at least seven of them. All right, so for your gingerbreads, we have the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four, the number five, the number six, the number seven, our number this week. The number eight, and the number nine, and a 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Two high fives. All right, so what I want you to do with these numbers today is I want you to work on identifying. That means telling me what number is what. So go ahead, whoever, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, sibling, put out the number six, the number one, and the number seven. So you can lay them out like that. Now if three numbers might be a little too hard for some of the kiddos, you could take one away, okay, and have seven or six, but try with three. And if you notice that they're struggling, take the one away. All right, I'm gonna flip mine around so they look right to you guys. I hope they look right to you guys. So we would say, find the number seven. Remember, seven, one, six. Where is the number seven? Yes, right here, the number seven. All right, let's try a three. An eight and a ten. Three, eight, ten. Where's the number three? One, two, three. Where's the three? Yes, it's right here's the number three. All right, let's try one more together. Let's do uh, Four, a nine, and a five. Four, nine, five. 
the number five. Five. Yes, it's right here. Here is the number five. So that's what I would like you guys to work on. Do those three and stop, and you can do more after. You also have a dice in your, or a die in your um, folder that I took, brought over. And you could roll one of them and put those numbers out, and whatever number you get, say you rolled it and you got a two, maybe you could put the five and the two out and have them tell you, which one is the two? That's the number you just rolled. Where's the two? That one, yeah. So you can do it that way too. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good weekend. Bye.